Steven Spielberg directing Tom Hanks is like Phil Jackson coaching Michael Jordan. It's just hard to beat. Bridge of Spies is the name of the movie. It is about an insurance lawyer who finds himself defending a Russian spy and then negotiating for the release of an American prisoner of war. Yeah, he's thrown into it. It's directed by Steven Spielberg, stars Tom Hanks, and is written in part by the Coen brothers, which alone should make you salivate for this movie. But not always the best ingredients making the best meal, do they in this case? Yeah, this is an incredible meal. These ingredients absolutely work. I loved this movie. A lot of that has to do with the incredible true story. To think of this man thrown into the position of defending one of the most hated people in America during the Cold War, a Russian spy, and then having to embrace that because he felt it was right is a truly amazing thing to think of. And the movie plays really well with those themes of making the choices you believe are right, even if the entire world is going to look down on you because of it. And it also deals with the redemption of those choices and how that works. And I just, I really loved the story and the themes. There's a lot of meat here right off the bat. Then you have Tom Hanks in the lead performance, who once again is brilliant. And this isn't one of those like scenery chewing performances. There isn't like that moment at the end of Captain Phillips uh, in this. He doesn't have that big scene, so to speak. He just plays a regular stand-up guy, but he does it so well and he does it so graciously that he makes everybody around him better. He is uh, one of our greatest movie stars of all time. When he's on screen, there's just something about him you love, his charisma, no matter what character he's playing, and he uh, is absolutely that here. He may be the best thing about the movie, even in a non-showy role like this. And then, of course, there's Spielberg, who is directing so confidently that it just feels like he doesn't miss a tick. He knows how to tell a story well, and he doesn't have to use this amazing dialogue to do it. There are moments in this movie where he uses the silences in the spaces in the visuals to tell more story than a lot of directors do an entire movie. He's an incredible filmmaker, and it's really great to see him working still at such a high level. Yeah, I was really impressed with this movie. There were a few things, uh, just a couple things actually, that I guess you could take a few points away for. One is it is long, and you do feel that at points, but I think you keep with it enough that that's not uh, an overarching factor, just kind of a minor thing, the length. Uh, but the thing that really bothered me, if there was one, was there's a little bit of false investment syndrome. The movie asks you to invest in a couple plot lines that don't have a huge payoff. And I don't want to give anything away. Maybe we can chat about it uh, at some point uh, once you've seen the movie. But there are just a couple things it asks you to invest, uh, uh, invest in, like the concept of justice or something that happens with the, you know, the, prison, the, um, the Russian spy. It asks you to invest in those things, and the payoff isn't exactly that powerful and actually a little bit contradictory in one of those cases. So that bothered me just a little bit, but overall, this is an incredible film, one I would highly recommend. Uh, those flaws only enough to knock it down to a still great A-. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. If you want to know more about what goes on here, feel free to click the cards up in this corner. We'll get to the best ever challenge here in just a second. Hang on for that. But if you click up in the corner where the little eye is, the, movie, uh, the video will keep going and you can check out a link to the website, other videos that have happened here recently, how to donate to the channel, any of that stuff. I'd also highly encourage you to follow me on Periscope, Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. -E do a search in Periscope on the app. You'll find me there. Uh, when I come out of movies, I live stream my initial thoughts and take your comments. We have a great conversation. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm really enjoying that. So uh, it makes Fridays so much fun because I see most of my movies on Friday. And then after I get out, I'll pop on Periscope and love the conversations I'm having there with you. Also subscribe to the podcast, Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P. -P. It is the official podcast of Your Movie Friend. And uh, we're on live every Friday. And then, of course, in your iTunes or Stitcher feed after that. All right, here it is, the best ever challenge where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Then also try to identify my choice. Let's just go for it. This is going to be fun. What is the best Steven Spielberg movie ever? Huh? Try to figure that one out. There's some really good ones. Uh, this is not an easy choice. So many I love. But I'm going to go with uh, one of the first movies where we all had to come together to rescue Matt Damon. That would be my choice for best Spielberg movie ever. Take a guess at mine in the comments. Also leave me your choice. And as always, here's five extra seconds to hit the subscribe button. It's right down here on the Your Movie Friend logo.